so hi everyone microsoft has recently launched just another multi ai agent framework that is tiny true so i guess microsoft is not targeting the multi ai agent ecosystem where they have first released autogen a year back recently they launched magentic one and then now tiny true so tiny true as you can see looks very very exciting as i was just reading the documentation and some examples given lm powered multi agent persona simulation so this is something that they're providing trying to copy out qa i would say because there also you just need to create a description for the person and the agent gets created so i think it looks very very similar to qa as you can see here tiny troop is an experimental python library that allows simulation of people with specific personalities interests and goals these artificial agents are called as tiny persons here you can read that this allows us to investigate a wide range of convincing interaction and consumer types so this is very similar to creo and I, when i was looking at the example also very very intuitive as well so looks great but as mentioned it is experimental here they have mentioned what it can be used for advertisement tiny troop can evaluate digital ads provide test inputs training exploring data product and project management brainstorming though this is very crucial that it is released at a relatively early stage and work is in progress expect few changes so before we jump on to how to use it let's first of all jump into an example that the team has launched to get a hang around of the framework so here you can see that they are trying to create a system where they can interview customers so first of all they have imported tiny true i will tell you how to install it nothing you need to git clone the repo and then pip install the requirements they have given the instructions on the readme we will go through that but i will be jumping onto the important parts of this code so you first are creating a tiny person factory one of the largest banks in brazil full of bureaucracy and legacy system so uh, not just creating an agent they can also create a fake environment for you so that's a very interesting and within that fake environment now they are creating fake persons ai agents generate person the vice president of one pro product innovation has a degree in engineering in mba is facing a lot of pressure from board of directors to fight off the competition now once you check out the mini bio for the person it has given it some artificial name and given it a back story as well depending upon the description that is given so till now you can see we have created a fake environment using tiny person factory and then created a artificial person in that environment now you are asking it questions and this person will be able to answer C customer dot thing i am not talking to a business and technology consultant to help me with a professional problem listen and act so now the story starts what would you say are your main problems today please be as specific as problem so here you can see that user is lucas almeida the name that has been given i will just select this so that it is visible to you now depending upon the input that we have given we have set up a problem statement that it is going to talk to a technology consultant now after that here you can see how the description goes how the conversation goes how lucas is now thinking and then finally lucas talks as well as you can see so it is able to give an output depending upon the entire scenario that we have created and then here you can see that it is thinking and talking so it's a combination of thinking and talking the next question that is asked is listen and act can you elaborate on the fintech so again the user is lucas almeida so what is happening here is this particular prompt is now going to the artificial person lucas that has been created in the artificial world that was a bank that a tiny person factory that we initiated instantly so here you can see that this is a thought that is going into his head and then this is a talk that is going on so here you can see that we have created an entire fake persona and then you are having conversations depending upon a fake scenario as well as a fake setup so the company is a fake setup so i think looks very interesting this looks to be a very baseline example but i would still say uh, i think very very minimal to use and it's quite easy for beginners to use i would say because the examples uh, you just need to do a little bit of prompting and you're good to go here are other examples as well present on the particular readme for the for the project here where you can check it out this one is for advertisements for tv uh, product brainstorming is also given 
So you are just creating a fake environment, creating some multiple AI agents in that environment and then giving them a problem statement. And eventually they are having a discussion. Very similar to Creeva because I have been using it for quite a while now and hence looks very similar to it but looks clean to be honest and looks easy to implement. As you can see here how to install it you just need to create a virtual environment first even if you don't create it not a big deal you need to git clone this particular repo microsoft tiny true and then cd and then pip install all the examples present in the examples folder of the repo can now be run and here is the particular name of the git repo microsoft tiny true so I hope this was useful. You try out our tiny true and other frameworks as well. There are many frameworks that are coming nowadays. I think this is the second release by Microsoft in this multi-agent series of frameworks that they're doing and all over third. So I think Microsoft is now targeting towards multi-agents and looks to be very fascinating. Thank you so much.